morning everyone welcome to the last disney world vlog today we're going to hollywood studios and i've never been to hollywood studios so i'm very very excited i was so tired this morning like i think it's caught up to me the lack of sleep the time change um just how dead i am truly i'm definitely getting to the parks later than i hoped park opened at 8 30 and it's currently 9 15. i just felt like i needed that sleep if not i might fall asleep like in the middle of the park so every morning that i've been getting ready i turn this light on which is like attached to a mirror because turning on the actual light in the bathroom is so bright and i'm telling you i'm so exhausted my eyeballs are not ready to be around light like that. So I've been using this light until my eyes feel better at least. Yesterday was so much fun. I think after yesterday, I've decided that Animal Kingdom is my favorite park. I mean, I still haven't done Hollywood Studios, so we'll see if my mind changes, but I honestly don't think it will. A couple of things that we need to do today. First thing, I have to go on Tower of Terror. That's like number one ride that I need to go on. Second ride I need to go on is Slinky Dog. I'm really excited to also go on that one. I've been on Tower of Terror before when we had it in California, but I've never done a sleep Slinky Dog Dash. So I obviously need to like look at Hollywood, or not Hollywood Land, what's it called? Toy Story Land. That's gonna be very exciting. Next thing that we need to do is I have to watch Fantasmic today. I'm so excited because I know um, Fantasmic is different um, at Disney World in comparison to Disneyland. So I'm really, really excited to watch Fantasmic. I do have a dining reservation for Woody's Roundup. i doing that as well. I really wanted to do Rock and Roller Coaster because that's a ride that we don't have. It's closed for refurbishment until like May or something. So love that so much for me. So we are getting on the Skyliner today. You are wondering. It takes you to Epcot and it takes you to Hollywood Studios. So it's only those two parks. And I think the Skyliner is really cool. However, I will admit it is kind of scary. Like I can't think about it too much. If not, I do get freaked out a little bit. I'm literally in a glass box and I'm flying across highways and lakes and forests. Like I don't know. It is kind of scary when you like really think about it, so I need to like make sure that I don't think about it. I'm gonna turn this light on. We're all dressed and ready to go. Put this on. T-shirt is from Depop. These shorts are Forever 21. Wearing the New Balances. Some jewelry bracelets i'm carrying my uh toy story micro mini backpack from sony clover and i was surprised on how much fit in here i put my entire toy story outfit in here and i put my little purse that i'm wearing for this outfit um so i love that so much for me i'm gonna remember to use my magic band today i always forget Magic band is on, even though it's like half rhinestone, half not, whatever. I'm so excited. Last day, I'm gonna really try and enjoy myself. Who knows when I'll be back. Uh, so far, it's been a bit of a mess. I forgot my sweater at the hotel. So I went back to go get it, and then at some point, walking, at some point during that process, I lost my magic band. When I was walking to the Skyliner, I realized that I didn't have it, and I started to walk back, and then I was like, whatever. Like, if I lost it, then I don't care. Like, I just... I don't have the energy to walk all the way back to my room to try and see if it's there. Hopefully someone turned it in if I dropped it. Um, and I'm just, I'm tired. I want some coffee. I'm going to get to the bar. <laughs> but of course, that's how I started my morning. I love that so much. So fun.
made it to Hollywood Studios. I actually just got a call from the front desk saying that someone turned in my magic band, so I'm gonna pick it up later tonight. But the first ride of the day is Tower of Terror, and I'm so excited. I literally haven't gone on this ride since I was like, probably like seven years old. Um, so I'm really excited, and it was my favorite when we had it, so I'm excited. into the store and we have these like little bells which I think this is such a cute little souvenir. We also have like these keychains which I think are supposed to be like hats or something. I'm not sure. And then I thought this t-shirt was cute. It's like a little kid's tee. And they also have this lounge fly. It slides open. Isn't that so cute? So good. I am now gonna head over to go watch the Indiana Jones show. Um, I'm not sure if it's like a new show, but I really haven't heard anyone talk about this show, so I'm really excited to watch it and sit down. Like today just is like a chill day for me because there's just been too much walking around the past three days. I went to a little store before heading to Indiana Jones. And I found this little t-shirt. It has the Disney World castle that says Walt Disney World. And I feel like I need a t-shirt that says Disney World. Even though I just bought one the other day. This one's so cute. So I think I'm going to get this one. And I'm going to get an extra small so it's fitted. And then we'll try it on and then if it doesn't fit I'll get like my regular size with a small. Yeah, this is so cute. So, I'm excited. I found some jewelry. This ring I've been eyeing for so long, so I think I'm finally gonna get this one. There's also this little Mickey necklace, super simple. And then I also think I'm gonna get this castle necklace that has a little pink rhinestone in it. Like, that's so cute. So, and it's the Disney World castle. So, love that. So I think I'm gonna get these three jewelry pieces in my um, shirt. I did my shopping. I've been shopping way too much on this trip. I feel like I have just completely blacked out and I'm just like buying random things, so. Stay tuned for a huge haul. Look at my hair. What is happening? Um, but we are now about to watch the Indiana Jones show. I'm so excited. It looks really cool, so I'm excited. watching the Indiana Jones show and I honestly had no idea what to expect because I try not to watch too many videos on the parks besides like food videos um, so I could be surprised when I get to experience things um, and so I had no idea what to expect so it's basically a show if you want to know it's basically a show that kind of gives you like the behind the scenes of doing stunts 
in movie sets and so for this one they did Indiana Jones and it was really cool to watch and I felt like the actor did such a good job so super entertaining um, you guys know I love I love a good show so we're gonna go watch another one we're actually gonna go watch the Beauty and the Beast show which starts in about 30 minutes so I'm gonna try and get a good seat and I'm so excited because I'm gonna be like more of a musical I think show and I loved it so much also really loved the girl that like the witch or whatever I don't know she was like an all green she's my favorite I love her so much um, but I wanted to kill a little bit of time before my lunch reservation and I saw there's like a little mermaid thing I don't really know what it is so we're gonna go and see what it is hopefully it's cool Okay, just kidding. Um, it looks like it's closed. I don't even know what it was, but it said it's closed. I don't know if it's closed forever or for the day. I don't know. So I'm gonna walk this way and I think I'm gonna go watch another show kind of thing to kill some time. Um, and then we'll go to lunch. like a bunch of different I guess like sculptures of like Epcot, Disneyland. It kind of felt like the Walt Disney Family Museum in San Francisco. So that was really cute and then at the end of it I got to meet Ariel which that was really cute. Um, I think I'm gonna go and get lunch now. Yours, and I think you were the most 
fashionable thing there is. So I had to get it. Yeah, it's not the best. Have you seen all of her accolades? Oh, yeah. You're iconic. Iconic. No one can come here. You're the best. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Fabulous. Period. Okay. To Andy's backyard. I'm blown away. This is literally the coolest thing ever. I'm freaking out. I'm literally a toy. I am truly in like shock. Like this is so cool. This is definitely my favorite part of this park. Like I'm just taking it all in and I'm just so <laughs> amazed by this area. It's so cool. Okay, I feel like I need to go on these flying saucers at some point, like I kind of have to. Lunchbox. We got root beer flow. Oh, it's spilling. She said the machine is kind of broken. So I think that's why it's just like not doing well. <laughs> Look at her. Oh. <laughs> it's literally spilling all over this. You guys know this. I really am not into desserts, but I'm very particular about the desserts that I like. And something like this is perfect for me. It reminds me of like being a kid. Always had a root beer floats as a kid. Or Coke floats. So I got a we are in line for Slinky Dog Dash. And this is like number one ride on my list of things to do besides Tower of Terror. So I'm really, really excited that we're doing it. The wait time wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I think it was about, it said 80 minutes, but I think we've only been in the line for like an hour. I'm so excited to finally do this. Here we go. the slinky dog ride and I loved it. You guys know I love a roller coaster. That was so much fun. Um, and then we went into the Frozen musical and that was also super cute. Um, I loved it way more than the Beauty and the Beast musical. They have an Epcot. I did that the last time I was at Disney World and it was literally just singing along. But this one they had like people talking you through it and it was actually really funny. So I really enjoyed it. Anyways, now it's raining, so put in a little clip, we're taking off the ears. have a dinner reservation at 8.30, so don't know what we're gonna do until then because we're trying to avoid the rain as much as possible. To avoid the rain, we are getting on Star Tours. It's pretty much a walk-on, so I'm very, very excited. So I usually skip this right at Disneyland, but at this point, I'm doing anything possible to get out of the rain. Here are the Princess Leia ears, and I did not realize they were knitted and double cinnamon rolls. So cute. And then, we also have this sweatshirt, which I think is so cool. Look at that. That's a really cool sweatshirt. Love it. I only like bucket hats on me, but I love this print. I just wish it didn't say Star Wars. Like if it was just like this, I think that's so cute. Or like on a shirt, that would have been cute. Like a tote bag. Okay, anyways. Galaxy's Edge and I, my hair is 
disgusting now because it's been raining. But we got a Cocoa Puff coffee. And let's see if it's better than the Disneyland one. I've heard it's worse. So my expectations are through the floor. I have to mix it, make sure the color looks right. Okay, it's like super coffee. I'm trying to get through this rain right now. Okay, that is one thing. If you're booking a trip to Disney World, you just never know when it's gonna rain. You don't know when it's gonna stop. You don't know when it's gonna start. You don't know how heavy it's gonna be. Now I'm stressed. We're gonna cancel Fantasmic because I really need to see it. We're gonna go and go to our reservation for Woody's. At least that is dry and we can eat some more food even though i'm not like super hungry i know i probably should eat because i'm gonna be hungry in like an hour or two to be honest this is crazy. You're so fast. oh i'm running that's right i'm trying to get out of the rain i'm trying to get out the rain wow it's so pretty at night though look at how nice it's glowing glowing oh it's stopping a little bit a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> it's just short. I don't know. It's less than before. <laughs> Trying not to slip and fall. Oh my gosh, I'm disgusting. This is so ugly. So we're gonna stay here until the park closes. We're not leaving this room. It's cute though. Look at how wet my legs are. This is crazy. Oh no, that's so gross. So this is cute. Period. seated for Woody's Roundup Rodeo or maybe it's just Woody's Roundup Rodeo I don't know what it's called but they gave us these menus but essentially you get everything on the menu so it's like all you can eat kind of style or like family style so they just bring out literally everything put it on the table and we eat it and it sounds great so it looks like there's like salads there's a bunch of meat options and then a lot of sides so not sure how we're gonna do this because I'm not super hungry but we're gonna try and make it work you also get one dessert each which I don't even think I can do a dessert but I might just do it for you guys <laughs> so you guys can know what I think about it hoping that we can make it to the fantastic show on time because it's 8 40 and the show starts at 9 30. Got cheddar biscuits, watermelon salad, tomato, cucumber salad. And a jar for something. A lemonade stand. This watermelon is so perfect. It's so sweet. These mm, tomato cucumber salad is my vibe. I love like salty things. <laughs> Feels very salty and vinegary. It's so soft. We have a ton of food. Brisket, baked beans, corn, oh that looks so good. Tater tots, coleslaw, which I will be skipping on, and mac and cheese. This is wild. We're coming here. Bring like a whole squad. This is crazy. So much food. I try not to watch any like reviews or anything before um, coming. I know. Corn. Corn is good. They give you guys horses, like toy horses. You can ride them to your table. So cute, seeing all the little girls and boys run around <laughs> with their horses. They're like galloping. I want to participate next time. I'm so full. 
when I didn't think it was gonna be this much food, like the pile of meat they just put on our table, like I'm overwhelmed. Like I wouldn't have had lunch if I would have known it was this much food. Obviously I didn't do research. I was just coming here for the vibes of eating in a Toy Story restaurant. So yeah, just a heads up. Make sure you come here um, when you're really hungry and bring like seven other people with you so you guys can all share. Thanks so much, that's my review, bye.